In this exercise, you'll turn this content and format, at, format it as a modified block style letter with mixed punctuation. So first of all, I'm going to add in that mixed punctuation. So put in a colon at the end of the salutation and a comma at the end of the closing. Then I am going to select all the text, change it to Times New Roman 12, change the line spacing to single and the paragraph spacing to zero points. And I'm going to set a tab while everything's selected. Uh, even though I only need it for the return address, the date and reference, closing, signature and title, or signature line and title, it's just easier for me to do it all in one go. So click this, 3.25, I'll just say OK, it is there. And now that I have all these things done, I'm just going to get rid of that. Change the margins to one inch. And then we're going to move these things around and put the blank lines where we need. OK, and correct the initials. I'm going to do that one right now. So N H is small because I am the typist and A A is for uh, Amal Amani here. So that is done. Okay, and now we are going to actually I can't tab this unless I move this over, but that's okay. I'll do that. So when I hit the tab key, you can see that these lines move over to left align on that 3.25. So there's our return address. If I look over at the solution, you can see I have three blank lines afterward. So one, two, three. Now, this belongs at the bottom, so let's select it, click and hold on it, and pull it down. I'm just going to pull it down here for now, and then I'll do the correct lines. The enclosure also belongs at the bottom. So put that one right at the bottom. And I messed this one up. It goes somewhere around there, and the date will come up here. Okay, so three lines after the return address. Here's the date. Okay, I'll just double click on this and head over here to my home, which it's not showing me. Oh, sorry the insert key so I can go and get my date and time. Now if you're in English United States you get this format and that's a pretty common one. That's the one I'm going to use. I don't want to check it because I want it to always remain the same. I don't want the date to update if I open it one week later. I want it to. I want to know when this was composed. Okay, so I'll just restore this back here so I can keep just having a look here. Okay, so after the date, which is also tabbed, we have three blank lines. So add two more in. This is our inside address one line before the salutation, one line between paragraphs. I believe this is in the wrong order, so take a look. This is uh, this is our sum up.
paragraph here, so I'll bring it down to there. Okay, one, two, three, one line after the last paragraph between that and the complementary closing. We have four blank lines for the person to write their signature on and then the name of the person sending it who will write the signature there after it's printed. Sales manager, we want one blank line here. Then the writer's initials are capitalized. The keyboardists are lowercase, followed by one blank line, and then the enclosure. I'm going to get rid of this blank line by doing a backspace. Okay, so I think I've done everything but my spell check. And so some of these are very obvious when you see that wavy uh, red line. You can right click and follow the suggestions. You are also going to run a spell check, which for time's sake I won't bother. And the last thing is to turn everything black. So control A and change the font just to the automatic, which means it will be the color of the theme, which is the default office theme here. Oh, we need to also uh, send this over here, as you can see for a modified block, tab the complementary closing, the signer, the, the, the person writing the letter, and the title all go over to that middle spot.